14,000 Americans will lose their battle with brain cancer this year. And now there's a new weapon to fight it. The Optune uses electrodes and a cap to treat the cancer around the clock. KXAN's David Scott introduces us to one Austin man as he wages his fight. You realize that the type of malignant brain cancer is a very tough uh, battle to fight. A seizure drove Jim Vosick off the road in January. February, surgery cut out the tumor. Then radiation, chemo, and now the Optune skull cap. He wears it 24 7. Its mild electric signals prevent the tumor cells from dividing and multiplying. Why not try it? It came perfectly natural to me to think that, well, it's a technological solution. Let's give it a try. But it took a little while to get used to sleeping with it, but I'm past that point. And it took a little while to get used to carrying it. One promising new study finds that patients who wear the Optune device for two years have a 50% better chance of survival. The more the better. Uh, the, the general concept is if patients can wear this at least 18 hours a day, they're going to get the full benefit or more benefit. Okay. Less than that, it tends to fall off. Jim goes to work at Freescale every day, sees the doctor once a month for chemo and a scan. The only thing he can't do are the daily jogs. He will shed the Optune if and when the tumor appears gone for good. It's a nice problem to have to get to the point where you say, well, gee, my scan looks good, I feel good, we'll just take that on a month-by-month -month basis. My attitude is I'm going to wear it as long as I possibly can because to me it's a way for me to be able to continue to fight the battle. David Scott, KXAN News. We wish Jim all the best. About half of insurance providers now cover the Optune device. More are expected to sign on this year. The manufacturer has been working to make it available for those patients who are not covered for this. Taking a closer look at the ongoing fight with brain cancer, 700,000 Americans are living with it right now. 70,000 new cases will be diagnosed with it this year. And it is the leading cancer killer for patients under the age of 20 and one of the top causes of cancer deaths among adults.